guys, Dewey Nisham here, and today I'm gonna to take over the ICC handle and um, take you through what a day in lockdown looks like in Auckland, New Zealand, where I am at the moment. Um, not a whole lot of chance to get out and do a lot of stuff, but um, I'll show you what I get up to. Well, I made it into the gym, finally. I uh, dragged myself from the uh, kitchen bench with a nice coffee into the gym to get a workout done. And um, today, uh, we've got a leg session, which is probably the one I'm enjoying the least at the moment. So. Um, just try and keep things real quick, um, try and be in and out of the gym in under an hour um, or else I start to lose concentration a little bit towards the end. So it's actually a uh, pretty basic setup I've got here um, in the garage. Um, not a whole lot of fancy stuff, just a, a barbell and um, some weights and a watt bike. So um, it's not about getting a perfect workout in, it's just about getting done um, what you can with what you have. Um, starting with a uh, front squat. Um, which is pretty light um, compared to what people we were probably expecting um, with uh, the stress fracture I had on my back back in 2015. Um, this sort of move for me has been moving away from um, putting a whole lot of axial loading through my spine, so it's much more about just um, building the movement, getting that strength with both legs and without putting too much um, pressure on that um, L4 vertebrae. Next up for me is donkey kicks. Uh, you might have seen uh, your garden variety Instagram model with the big booty doing these quite a lot, but uh, for me it's important. Um, I have um, underactive glutes, so um, it's really important for me to get those firing. Right, so gonna move on to the sumo deadlift. Um, so I do the sumo deadlift instead of a normal deadlift um, for a similar reason as before, to try and target those glutes a little bit more and uh, take a little bit of stress off the lower back. So um, same as with the front squat, um, not very heavy. So I'm working at about um, 100 kgs uh, for 10 reps. Um, five sets, try and get a fair bit of volume into those legs and keep that strength up. Again, um, trying to get that strength through the legs, trying to stay strong through this lockout. 17.5 um, is the heaviest thing I've got in the garage, so uh, if you've got something heavier, um, definitely go heavy. Right, last exercise of the day now. Um, it's not a long session, as I said. Um, just ticks all the boxes. So, uh, last exercise is an overhead reverse lunge. Um, get, get some kind of weight, 10, 15 kgs, whatever. Um, I'm gonna work with a 20. Right, last exercise of the day now. Um, it's not a long session, as I said. Um, just ticks all the boxes. So, uh, last exercise is an overhead reverse lunge. Um, get, get some kind of weight, 10, 15 kgs, whatever. Um, I'm gonna work with a 20. Right, and that's the session ticked off. Um, good, easy, quick leg strength session. Um, Stop from getting weak over the quarantine, and uh, now get back inside and uh, have a bit of lunch, and then probably uh, take the wee pup for a walk. Right, and that's the session ticked off. Um, good, easy, quick leg strength session. Um, Stop from getting weak over the quarantine, and uh, now get back inside and uh, have a bit of lunch, and then probably uh, take the wee pup for a walk. Boy. Well, that's the evening run done. 
Um, just got a little loop around my block, about 4Ks. Um, just sort of not that often, but just over 17 minutes, 17 and a half minutes. So gets the heart rate up to end the day, get some fat burning, and uh, we'll head back in and see what we've got going on for dinner. Sit. Lie down. <laughs> 